Rose is starting here with a step back lunge. So you keep your weight on the heel of your front leg and bring your back leg back, touching your knee down to the ground. Keep your heel nice and strong and steady. You can be using your hamstrings as you go back and then when you come back up, hamstrings and quads. If you feel like you have some balance issues, go ahead and have your hands out to the side. Then you can also step back and out to the side a bit. Now when you go into the kneeling lunge stretch, it's the same thing. If you feel like you are a bit wobbly, bring your feet apart. So make them wider and that will give you more stability. When you're back into the stretch, think about keeping your chest up, pulling your hips underneath you, and you'll have that feeling of stretching the hip flexor on the back leg. Next up in this hip sequence, Rose goes from squats into the modified pigeon stretch. For the squats, keep your chest up high, weight in the middle of your feet to your heels, and sit back. This will give you a nice warm up and then go into the modified pigeon stretch. Now we call this modified because your back leg is bent rather than in a full yoga pigeon pose where the leg is straight. You'll see that Rose has her weight shifted over towards the front knee when her chest is up high. You can play with the angle of your knee, the front knee. So the more closer it is to 90 and above 90, the more difficult it is. Uh, if you need to, go ahead and bend the knee, even to the point where your heel is touching your thigh. Rose is now going into side-to-side -side squats. For the side-to-side -side squats, you're going to be keeping your hips as low as you can as you shift over and squat from one side to the other. You'll see here how she rolls up onto the heel and brings her toes up and then that works as stretching the hamstrings and using the hamstring to pull yourself up. For the stretch portion, you're going to sit back and think about bringing your knee, that bent knee, out to the side more. And of course you can press your hands forward to, for stability and for balance and also to get weight off of there if you need to. Then you switch to the other side. This may be a bit difficult for some of you, so another great variation to do with this is to keep your hands forward the whole time and use that to help you shift from side to side. And you can put more weight forward onto your hands as you need to. Here, Rose is doing a sumo squat. So sumo squats are a wide squat where you're actively pushing your knees out to the side. So you stand tall, step out to one side, squat down, knees out, step to the other side, squat down, knees out. From here, she'll go into the frogger stretch. This can be a bit uncomfortable in the front of your hips if you rock back too much. So the key here is to bring your knees apart, but not sit back so much that it starts pinching the front of your hip. So also play with how wide apart your feet are. You might need to bend your, uh, flex your knees a little bit more, but the inside of your thigh is what we're looking to stretch out. 